Good morning. It is just after 5.46. <laughs> it's 5.46 right now. And um, I have been up for a while, I would say since about 4.30. But um, I've just been sitting here thinking like after Jorge left for the day. So I've been up for a while, but um, I'm getting ready now for the day. And it's a different kind of day for me because my mom is out of town. She left last night and so um, I'm going to be spending a lot of my early mornings just doing things that I need to get done or work related things and just kind of getting a jump start on my day. So this is a beautiful dress by Top Vintage. Um, it's part of their fall collection, I would think, and um, it kind of reminds me of the high-low dress that I have from Calvin Klein, but that one is definitely more spring-summer. So um, I just put that away, though, and today I wanted to pack away a few more pieces for, um, you know, that are more for summer and just kind of start bringing different things out into my wardrobe that I'm going to look forward to wearing this fall. So whenever it's fall time or, you know, the beginning, the beginning of fall, I like to put a little bit more of the bolder colors into my wardrobe. So I have orange in here, which is nice. So I'm going to get dressed and I'm going to do my makeup and then I will see you then. This video was brought to you by our patrons and all those who have purchased from the Inspired by Nikki store. Thank you. I want to welcome you if you are new and hope you will consider subscribing to the Inspired Daily to make the everyday beautiful. All right, I just got done dropping my son off at school, so. Oh, I'm on my way back. I have some things that I need to do like over at my mom's place today. I need to um, just water her plants because she's not there. So that will be something that I want to take care of first and then I can water my plants outside as well. And um, I need to keep an eye on them throughout the day because especially the hanging plants, those can dry out quickly. So um, later today, probably around, I don't know, maybe like three o'clock, I'm gonna go out there and check just to make sure that they aren't sad looking and give them a little bit of a drink. So um, that will be first and foremost, but I have a candle that I got from Bath and Body Works that I wanted to share with you. I've been getting so many different blooms and I just fed the these roses last night so I'm going to see how well that works for them and then um, see if I need to do that more frequently because I just haven't fed them at all since I've planted them but I think that they should probably get some food every few months. So this is the candle that I just recently purchased from Bath & Body Works. It's called The Perfect Autumn, and it smells really good. I mean, it just really gets me in the mood for fall. And that one is, um, it's like a white backdrop with a very light mint green and gold leaves and so it's just really pretty I'll have to show it to you when it's not lit and um, you know it's just really really beautiful um, it has berries there it looks like and yes this this is giving me all the inspiration for fall to paint just to see the leaves like that so anyway um, I don't know if I've shared on here but my sister-in-law painted this um, of our dog Feline. Feline had passed away um, and yes this is just so precious to me. This is actually the it's a copy of the actual painting. The actual painting is pretty big so um, but it's just so beautiful. She gifted this to me not long after and it just 
you know, was so special. So anyway, I am just keeping that up here on the mantle so that I can think of her. I guess this is as good a place as any to share the dress of the day. So today's dress I've already shared is by Top Vintage. This is part of their new line and it's really fun. It's 95% cotton and then the other five is elastane. So it's um, a bit heavier of a fabric and kind of stiff but it's really nice especially if you want to wear a petticoat under it to fluff it out a bit more and make it more full but i just like that it is a full dress it it doesn't show everything that you have on underneath i think that that is really nice as well so maybe if you want to wear a long line bra or just a girdle or whatever you want to wear underneath it's not going to be really evident that you are wearing something else. So um, I like the three quarter sleeves. Most of you know that's my top, um, my my most loved sleeve length is the three quarter sleeve. It can even be a little bit longer, but I just like that it covers the elbows. I think is the main thing. And then um, this is not skin tight on me, so. 
I got my normal size in this. Um, if I wanted to, I could have sized down, but I think that it's very comfortable and the lay of the clothing is very nice if you just go with your normal size. So it, you know, just with the, the construction of the dress, it looks really lovely and it's not too tight, which is a plus. So um, that's really all that I have to say about that. The pattern I think is, um, I don't want to say cartoonish. It's just um, not the typical kind of roses. I've, I've talked in the past about how I'm very particular about my florals and um, just like what I would purchase in a pattern. Eventually, I don't know, maybe one one day I could get tired of the pattern of this, but it's just a different kind of floral print. So it's not what I'm used to, but it's still pretty in my opinion. It's festive for the season and um, I don't know, just pretty and fun and you can wear it to a party if you don't feel comfortable wearing, you know, just around the house. But I'm wearing this around the house and because it's, you know, a really bold pattern, um, it just, it makes it to where you're not as concerned about getting something on it because pattern kind of hides that. Uh, do stay away from bleach in this dress, I would say, because it will definitely stain um, because it is cotton. So, um, no heavy cleaning today or no Clorox today. But I have this apron that I'm going to wear over it today. I'm going to um, start making breakfast right now. And this one, I had these aprons made. I kept this one because the pockets are a little off. So it was just a little oopsie, but um, it's a full apron. And something that I wanted to share with all of you is that I'm going to just stick with the full aprons. Um, I have a couple of my last ones being made that are half aprons because I had a couple of people specifically request it, but I'm going to stick with the full aprons and here's why. And this isn't my, um, my usual pattern, but what I just like to do with my full aprons is fold them down. So that's why I call it a two in one. I mean, it's just, you know, you fold the apron down and then you can wrap it around even to the front if you would like, um, and then just tie it. So there's your half apron, two in one. You can have your full apron or you can have your half. And I know a lot of people don't like tying in the back, which is one of the great reasons why I've been just go streamlining everything to my full apron with one single sash. I think that it's so much nicer. It's, it's adjustable for whatever size. And um, you would either, if, if you're larger and it can't tie around to the front, there, the sash is so long that you can just tie it in the back and have a lot of extra but um, that is a question that I get frequently about plus size do I have something for plus size um, I've gotten a few reviews about those that I think would be considered plus size they said that it fits them well like say a size 16 that it's perfect for her so um, I, I would say that it does I would think so and then, um, you know, just tie, tie around. So you can tie in the back or tie in the front. I really like to tie in the front. It's just a cute little bow in the front, you know. But then I do have one that the sash is just a little too short to tie in the front, but I can knot it too. So that's something. But um, I'm going with this one today. This is one that I did for a little while. I didn't have a lot of this one, but I sold out except for this one that I decided to keep just because of the pocket situation. I don't even know. I can tell. I can tell it's just slightly lower. So it did not pass quality control, so I kept it for myself. 
So that is the dress of the day. I have some um, things to put away right now and some tidying up to do, mainly of the dining room table. Everything else is pretty much done. Nope, that's not true. I do have the kitchen because the kids kind of went at it last night making whatever they wanted to make. They stayed up a little later eating and so we have cleanup to do in the kitchen. And um, that's about it. So I want to get breakfast started and then I'll clean as the bacon is making. I'm going to be making French toast today per request and then I have a whole list of things to share with you. I have a list of things that I wanted to accomplish today. Not sure if I'm going to, but um, that's not a very good attitude. Okay, I have a list of things that I need to get done today. I really need to answer comments, which I don't have that listed right here, but I'm posting a video today. So before I get to all of these things, I want to um, do that. I need to just sit here while I have that time going and answer comments to kind of just get a head start on that. I also just saw that I have two orders for Etsy, so I'm going to have to do that at some point, but I, it's going to jumpstart me to get some paintings done, and that's um, some fall florals or leaves. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do yet, but it's part of what I am offering this month. So last month um, I was doing for a little bit of time I was doing some free paintings that month and that was with the purchase and so this month I'm going to do petite paintings and it's going to be for the fall so I'm just going to have to figure out what I'm going to do and then include that in the order and feel really good about that I will be able to sit down for a while and do those paintings at some point but um, 
yeah, I just need to make up my mind and do that. Sometimes having something that you say you're going to do, even if it's not done yet, can really motivate you to get something done that you've been wanting to do. So that's just something. But I did water my mom's plants. I did not clean her house yet. Maybe I might save that for tomorrow. Um, but I have pen pals to write, just all these things to do. But first and foremost, I'm going to be answering comments. And I have a really nice mess going on right over here. I have like a pile of stuff. So what happened was when I moved the room around, I moved out our nightstands. Well, Jorge still wanted his drawers in his closet. He has a special closet in the water closet that there's a closet within the water closet. And he likes to keep his work clothes there. I've talked to him about reorganizing things just because in my mind, it's just, it doesn't really make sense to have your clothes in all of these different areas, right? But it's up to him what he wants to do. Um, so we're going to spend time this weekend reconfiguring everything. But the deal was that he would be able to, he would be fine with the nightstand not having drawers in it because now we just have those, um, what is it, the pedestal nightstands or, you know, just the, I think that's what they're called. Oh, there's something in here. Um, he would be fine with that as long as he got the entire closet in the water closet and I would take out all of my stuff, which I've been using as storage. Like I have my memory box in there. I have papers that can obviously be kept in my office and this is where they should be. But um, I'm going to want to switch out these and just kind of go through all of the paperwork. I have bins right here of things like curtains and just things that I'm not using, extra towels, stuff like that. So I'm going to have to go through these things and finally just make a decision about them. Um, I just don't think that I'm going to be keeping a lot of those things. And I want to put up curtains going into the bathroom area, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be using these exact curtains. So. All of that may be figured out this weekend and then I can either post some of these for sale or just donate them, um, but I don't know. We'll have to see. But first and foremost, we need to get to these comments. <music> just took a peek at the bacon it's pretty much done but just for you know to make sure that it is I put it in for another three minutes and turned it around so that the ones in the back that get extra crispy then I can you know kind of even it out so I was just thinking as I was walking back here how nice it is to have like a fall candle and just the smell of bacon I don't know it just makes me feel like fall is here even though it's not yet um but yes just you know the smells the sounds all of that it just adds to the whole ambiance so ah, just thought i'd share that from the 
the video before. Now I have more rolling in. Um, I answer a couple, but now I need to like get back to what I need to do for the day. So um, I need to get that petite painting done. I have two that I need to make, definitely. Um, and then I need to package up my, those orders before it gets too late. That way I don't miss the mailman whenever whenever he or she does come, mail person. Um, and I would like to straighten up my office, but I think that'll be more of like something I'll do later today. Um, the yard guys are pretty much done. They're finishing up out front and I'm just going to put away like some of the clean dishes. I think I might run the dishwasher and then um, just check to make sure everything's good in the laundry room. I just want to focus on getting everything in its rightful place in the laundry room. I have such a mess in our pantry, which is in the laundry room. But I'm not going to get to that today. That will be something coming up, but we will leave that for another day. Okay, looking in the... She's in her apron planner, right? Um, we are on zone one because it's day three of the week. And it, it goes by weeks, but I think if... Like the last half, I don't know. I it's been so long since I've really like looked into it. But I think after the first is when you go to zone one. Like starting the first year in zone one, and that can be even one day, even if it's like on a Saturday. Okay, so zone one is entrances. So that is the porch, the entrance, and the back deck or door. So. Um, that's I guess what I'll focus on today um, since they did everything like the um, like they blow everything off I think it would be a good time to wash down the door um, beat the mat maybe or something and then um, I don't know I don't know I don't even want to think about that right now. I have so many other things to do. I don't even want to think about the housework right now. Um, but yes, I have a lot of things to do. <sighs> I'm just trying to make sure that my work is done first though, you know? Gotta focus, make sure my work is done. I want to upload um, the things that I already started filming today and then see how long we have and then um, I'll decide like what more I can put in there for today but I have other things to film and do today too so um, I can't just make this entire day filled right with filming because I have too many other things to do here is a look at the petite paintings that I just made so these are going to go inside of the package of whoever purchases anything this month. You get to have a unique um, autumn painting that I'm just trying my hand at. Um, they could possibly become stationary. I don't know. We will see. But, you know, I just, I guess I just like to try things out before I say that yes I'm gonna put this out there this is going to have my name on it um, but I really like the way that these turned out they're simple they are just uh, simple you know leaf formations branches etc but um, I just love the colors they just feel so cozy so um, with these paintings you could just go to like Hobby Lobby I'm going to actually go to Hobby Lobby to see if I can get a um, a really good little miniature frame and then frame them myself and then just show how I would do it um, but these are good if you're like wanting to just decorate like a tiny shelf or something or also if you want to just add something to your um, you know like your tabletop where you put pictures or anything else maybe a bookshelf and or whatever you want to do with them I don't know maybe hang them on the fridge <laughs> Nikki's artwork on the fridge um, no just whatever you want to do with them or even if you want to throw them away it doesn't matter um, 
but it's just something that I thought that I would um, include in any purchase this month with it being fall and it gets me out of my comfort zone because then I'm doing something other than roses but I'm also just painting which is not I don't do that as often as I would like to like I just don't make myself do that because I can always think of something else to do right there's more work to do or there's more um, cleaning to do or just whatever we can end up obsessing about so um, this has been very very fun and just relaxing and although not very relaxing because I do have an order that I need to ship out right now but I'm waiting for my roses to dry because I had to make up some more so now I have to put the finishing touches on there and then I'll be done This is how they've all been coming out. Everything is different. We have berries over here, some eucalyptus, and just a bunch of different leaf shapes, and I just love it. I think it's perfect for fall. So um, with any purchase this month, I am going to be including one of these, and they're all going to be different and unique. So even if you purchase multiple times from my store, you will likely get something very different from what you had gotten before. So I'm about ready to wrap it up for the evening, I think. But this was fun, you know, to be able to get this done was really nice. So I'm just going to gild it, is what I like to call it, and then sign my name to them, and then I will put them on my shelf up here, which I got fresh flowers today. Aria cut me a couple of new miniature roses. Um, but tomorrow I'm going to go looking for some mini vases and some mini frames. <music>
been doing I have one that I need to finish up so I'm going to show you like the before and after side of it and then finally once it's all done I will put that over and then also what I've been working on I talked about this in my last video the cleaning video that there was something special that I was going to be doing and that is in my room but then I also have something, maybe I mentioned it at the beginning of this video, of my mom's deck that I wanted to accomplish too before she got back home. Okay, so let me show you the um, special addition to my, to my bedroom. I know a few of you have been telling me that I should put some curtains there or something going into my bathroom. Well, finally, I decided I'm going to do the double layer curtains. And I took the curtains that were right here because I had two on each end. I took one set from each end and just did this on the front. And then in my office, I had four pairs of the shears. And so now, you know, one set for each side is just fine. And my window is about this size anyway. So I think that that works out well. I love the way that it looks and it just feels so much more finished than not having anything there. Originally, if you remember from my Fixer Upper series, I really wanted French doors going into the bathroom, but we're not going to be doing French doors and um, this is a really good fix. So right now I'm waiting for the ends. Um, they should be coming. I ordered these from Bed Bath & Beyond. I actually got these from there, that whole rod system from there as well. And so then it's not exactly the same as what I have. Those are quite a bit smaller than these, but it's still fine. It looks nice. I couldn't find those ones. And then I started wondering, did I get them from there? And I couldn't even remember. So, okay. So here it is. Yes, I did change around my room. And I talked more about this over on Patreon, just my whole thought process behind everything but it was time for a change, so I changed it, and I went with the catty corner bedroom look. <laughs> um, this is really nice to me because nothing, like it doesn't cover the windows, and um, I had had it in front of my window before when I had tried changing my room around before, and I did not like that at all, so this is just, a better setup and I really enjoy it and 
definitely with having this here, it just makes it feel so much more complete and, you know, like it's just meant to be. So, um, I love the glow going into there. It made me start thinking, do I want to put them back there again? I don't know. Maybe that'll be too many curtains. <laughs> My kids come in here and say that it's the room of curtains. So, um, okay, let's talk about this project here. So I have this side and this side. I already painted this with gold. I went to Lowe's. I found some gold paint and, um, you know, just paint in a can. And I really like the way that this turned out. When I bought, when my mom bought this, it already had the gold hardware. And so I was just kind of trying to match that. Um, you can tell that when they painted this, they really didn't care about getting paint on the metal. So that was something that I really wanted to cover as well. But um, I just like that it's a little bit more muted than this is. And so I'm going to get to work, get this done, and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end. And that will be that because I'm ready to end out this vlog. In through here I see that I still have a couple of white spots peeking through so I'm going to finish that up but I want to show you what I decided to do when I was looking at the hardware it was of course painted over but I just I love the shape of the hardware and so I wanted to bring it back out by painting it gold and I think that it looks really good now the gold that this is painted that all the hardware was already painted is a little bit different than the gold that i purchased so it's fine though because this is you know really thin so it's just not as apparent and then those are not right by it so it makes it okay as well but you can probably see the cameras picking it up that this is a warmer tone and this has more of a greenish undertone I feel for the gold but um, I, I still think that it looks good um, I'm going to now complete these two but I just wanted to test it out to see how it looked so this is you know the right side is done the left side I need to do now and then I'll show you a final shot with the curtain down and everything when I'm done
Welcome to the Cup and Saucer, best in town, open from 6 a.m. to whenever, breakfast and lunch daily. Actually, it's more like open from 3.30 a.m., you know, just whatever time we wake up and come out here and enjoy this beautiful space. This is my mom's deck. Welcome. Um, when she's away right now, and so while she was away, Jorge painted this set, which was dark brown. If I can find what it looked like before, I'm going to put it in here. I would still like to get some new cushions um, and, you know, something that can tie in all of the green that we have going on out here. But this was like a very dark brown, and um, I just just sprayed some stuff off just now. It's not really the best lighting to be showing everything in, but um, yes, she has a recliner out here. She loves it. It's very comfortable for her. She practically lives outside. So um, having a space like this is nice. It's important for her. The next thing that would be really great for her to do would be to get an awning or just something to offer her some shade once like the sun comes out and at that point if she wants to be outside she has to be in the garage so maybe in the near future she will want to do that but um, for now we've just been enjoying the flowers that she had bought um, I planted all of them in these pots that we had taken over here from my Grammy's house and um, she has this beautiful stand right here which we have two hanging pots on but this has been our little project this weekend so that's all that I wanted to share once I do a little bit more maybe some cushions I will share then but thank you so much for being here and I look forward to seeing you in my next video bye everyone